Hello, in this video, I will show you how to render a reconstructed panoramic image from your CVCT scan. In, in most, most cases, cases, in your, in your CPR, CPR window, window, the CPR, CPR curve, curve will, do, will do a pretty good job of automatically rendering that reconstructed panoramic image for you. However, in some cases, we do have to make some adjustments. Select the CPR icon in your upper right toolbar if not already selected. In your CPR window, double click the NPR view to enlarge it. Your NPR view is the one located in the upper right center. For the best panoramic view, you want to align the green CPR curve with the lower arch. First, you'll want to pick up the green CPR curve using the anchor point located towards the very center of that curve. You can pick it up with your left click of the mouse and drag it out of the way. And then we can use our mouse to scroll down to the lower arch. So we're going to roll the wheel of the mouse down onto the lower arch until we see the canals of the lower arch teeth. You'll then want to pick up that green curve again. That is your CPR curve by using the acre point located towards the very center of that CPR curve and just dragging it over the lower arch. You want to do your best to align the anchor points along the CPR curve to the canals of the teeth. And then you may have to pick those up individually to further align them with the arch. You'll then want to double click to the view again, double click using your mouse with the left click, and that's going to bring you back to your cross-sectional views um, of that CPR window. In the center uh, toolbar of your CPR window, usually the thickness will default to 15 millimeters. You can change that thickness to anything between 15 to 20 millimeters for the best panoramic view. It is important to note that the 2D images, such as panoramic and x-rays, typically run at a setting of 15 to 20 millimeters in thickness. However, if the panorama view in the CPR window is being used for purposes other than generating a reconstructed panoramic, such as implant planning, then we recommend a one millimeter slice thickness setting. If the visible cross-section and CPR lines are activated, you can deactivate them by unselecting the indicated icons in the center CPR toolbar. To enlarge the panorama view, double-click over the image, and then you can further single out the view by selecting the triangle slider located in the upper left of the panorama view. Lastly, if you wish to save this view as a JPEG file, simply right-click over the view and select Save Image in the drop-down. The file is typically anonymized due to HIPAA compliance, but you can always change the name of the file before you save it. Thank you for watching.